Hi, this is episode 3 of $5 to a Knife. As the name suggests, we start with $5 of hard-earned cash in our Steam wallet and we do profitable trade-ups until we have enough balance in our wallet to buy a knife. So the knife that I'm going for is going to be the Bowie Knife Gamma Doppler Phase 4. Now this is pretty expensive, the cheapest one is listed at 393 bucks on Steam right now, but with enough profitable trade-ups, we should get there eventually. So we ended episode 2 with 9 bucks and 87 cents in the balance. So that's what we're trying to get up to anything that's above that. Are you looking for low float skins for trade-ups? Check out today's sponsor, Skins Monkey. It's a very convenient trading bot site that charges no overpay for floats. I found these two 0.01 consumer skins and used code TechSavvy for a 35% deposit bonus when depositing and got the tradable skins instantly. Oh, and did I mention that if you're new to the site, you get a $5 bonus to trade with? You do have to trade to activate it, but it's a little bit of extra. But don't worry if you don't have any skins. The site's always running at least three giveaways, so there's definitely something for you as well. So check out Skins Monkey through my link in the description and the pinned comment. So I listened to the responses in the previous episode and the first episode, and we're gonna have more trade-ups today. As always, we gotta start off with your standard Dreams and Nightmares 0.092 mil spectre restricted trade-up. Not even gonna talk about it, let's just roll the clips. So here we go, attempt number one. Massive cringe moment, but we're rolling straight into attempt number two. And that was a lot better. And then we had a couple oopsie moments, failing one, another one, and another one. Are we gonna continue missing again? Let's go, yes, finally. What happened next was actually kind of funny. We hit a zombie offensive, then we hit a zombie offensive, and then we hit a zombie offensive. I cut a bunch of times for time's sake, but I did these three trade-ups at once, so I was very sad. So let this be a lesson about probability, even though on average we should be making profit, I am at a loss here. I've lost about a dollar, again not a lot, but that's 20% of what I started with. So yes, you can lose money with profitable trade-up, it's just that statistically you're more likely to make money over time than lose money. Math class over, now let's get back to some trade-ups. Another Dreams and Nightmares trade-up, and we actually managed to profit, although the M4 is nowhere to be found. But this does put us back into profit for the video, so I can't complain about that. So I want to talk a little bit about the timing of this series, why I started when I started, and stuff like that. Now that I think about it, it's a pretty 200 IQ moment. What I thought I would do is start around September, and then by the time I think the operation is going to come out, which I think is mid-November, I will have a decent sized balance. I would say somewhere between $25 and $75, depends on how lucky I am and how much I work for it. And if the operation does drop then, usually new profitable trade-ups get introduced. So, you know, I was hoping to time it perfectly to have the balance when the trade-ups come out to be able to capitalize on the fact that they're new and really profitable. If the operation doesn't come out, no harm done, I just continue as I would have normally. So basically, no matter what happens, I'm either at an advantage or nothing happened. That was a bit longer of a tangent than I planned it to be, so let's get back to more trade-ups. So as promised, we're going to be mixing it up today, and we're doing this recoil mill spectre restricted trade-up. 10 field tested skins, average float 0 0.214. It's really cheap. It's really low risk. You only lose 5 cents if you miss, and you have an over 50% chance to make money. So you already know I'm going to be abusing this big time. I woke up to a bunch of filled buy orders, and I did three of them. Nice. Oh. Let's go. And my buyers were coming through so quickly that I managed to get another one just with Galils. And we hit it, so that was pretty great. So these recoil trade-ups are paying off big time so far, so it was definitely worth doing them. So at that little profit streak, I think it's the perfect time to end this one here. So drumroll please, the balance that we end on today is $12.16, so we're over double, almost 2.5x, so pretty good. Hopefully the progress will be better and we won't get screwed on the profitable trade-ups like we did with the dreams and nightmares. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one, stay tuned for episode 4, and I'll see you there.
subscribe to Tech Savvy Scientist for ultimate luck.